Hey guys. So it was another very busy day, um, but it was good. I did Pilates training this morning with my friend uh, and then um, came home and had some lunch and got ready for work and I went to work and I just got back a little while ago. And so while dinner is cooking, I thought that I would film the Advent yarn opening for the day. Also, I realized I forgot to mention it is Wednesday, <laughs> December 8th, and we have number eight for our advent calendar. More green. <laughs> I'm noticing a theme. This is lovely and bright and kind of springy. It's super pretty. It also almost kind of reminds me of the Grinch, which is super fun for Christmas. Very festive. I don't know if you can see all of the fun different colored speckles that are in this one. That's super, super cute. I love speckles. I'm actually on the hunt for good speckled yarn. So if any of you guys have a yarn dyer that you know and love that does good speckled yarn, especially for socks, please comment below. <laughs> because I would love more speckled yarn. I've got, ooh, that's a great speckle clump right there. That's great. Yeah, I have plenty of variegated yarn. I have almost exclusively variegated yarn, but I need more speckled yarn in my life because uh, speckles make me super happy. So I have officially got too much advent yarn to display to you <laughs> in this manner. So I'm going to have to stop displaying it like this after today, which seems like a good problem to have. So beautiful. Best advent calendar ever. Washing some socks this evening. I'm using the Euclid lavender. It smells lovely. And I filled this with the uh, cool water. It's not super cold, but it's cool. And then I kind of squash, squelch it, splash it <laughs> around my fingers to make sure it's all evenly soapy and just toss my hand that sucks in. I um, primarily use my hand knit socks as house socks. Um, so they do tend to get a little dirty. They don't usually like smell gross, but mostly because of I'm guessing the fact that they're not in shoes, but then also like they are wool and wool, wool is typically kind of like a self-cleaning fiber. So um, I don't wash them every time I wear them, but as soon as they start to look particularly gross <laughs> or dog hair-ish or uh, not dog hairish really, because I can just pull that off of my hands. Um, but I don't know, when they start to look like they're getting like dirty, um, or if they're starting to just slightly start to smell a little bit, that is when I wash them. Um, so these were both washed or worn several times, but they were right on the edge of starting to get a little yucky, so they are being washed. And you can see the water is changing color, so <laughs> they did need to be washed. Um, and I pull all the dog and animal fur off of the bottoms of them first, because since I wear them as house socks, they do accumulate some dog fuzz on the bottom. So I just pull that off first before I get them in the water. And then I hold them under water and just squish them a little bit to help get the air bubbles out. So definitely not wringing them out or like really agitating them in any kind of way and just like gently squishing them under the water to make sure they get fully penetrated with that soapy water. And then I'll let these sit for probably eh, like 30 minutes or so. I have found it doesn't really matter as long as it's over 15 minutes. I've forgotten them and left them for hours before and it didn't seem to make any difference because <laughs> they're just sitting. Um, it's different than if they were in the washing machine, I guess, um, being agitated. But yeah, see the water is already kind of gross, so <laughs> I 
Um, and they are bleeding just a tiny bit, but not much. Um, so these, both of these pairs of socks you will have seen are a very similar kind of color palette. So even if they bleed a tiny bit, it's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, I'll let those sit for a while and then I will come back and squish them again <laughs> to work out any dirt that has been soaking. Um, and then I will just very lightly rinse them because this is the, um, this is the no rinse Euclid. So they don't really need to be rinsed, but I just give them a, a little, a light rinse just to get some clean water, uh, squished onto them just in case there are any lingering dirt molecules. <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually really like washing my hand knits. It's part of the charm of hand knit socks for me, so. Kind of like sock washing evenings. I thought I would just share with you the uh, scenery that I have from my chair in the living room and this is my scene that I get to gaze upon each evening right now and I just think that it is so cheerful. This just looks very Christmas to me and brings me much joy and then of course I have my faithful hounds, which are surrounded by the remnants of their latest toy destruction. I'm glad that they're having fun. Good morning, guys. I am on a walk with Nolly this morning. We are at one of our favorite parks. Uh, it has lots of uh, paved walk pa walking paths, which is really great when I've got her because she likes to explore <laughs> so it makes it a little bit easier on my back um but yeah it is Thursday December 9th yeah 9th so hard to keep track and yeah I've been doing all sorts of things this morning and uh, after our walk we are going to make some lunch and then get or make cookies yeah, I'll be making cookies because it is craft night tonight and I don't want to show up empty handed. And I think knitting with friends calls for some ginger cookies. So I will see if I can film some of that to share with you guys. Uh, Cause yeah, cookie baking is very Christmassy. <laughs> There's Nolly. She is just the cutest with her sweater and her Christmas collar with her bow. I just can't with this dog. Also, I wanted to share my shoes with you guys because they're pretty awesome. <laughs> These are the Holiday Brooks and they're about as Christmassy as you can get. I got them last year, I think on Amazon. I think they come out with different ones every year. So, you can probably find them still. They might have new ones or different ones this year. But, they delight me. Just in case the video at the park was not very helpful in giving you a picture, I was trying to wrangle Molly at the same time. So, yeah, probably gives a better picture of them. They're pretty, they're pretty cool. So this recipe calls for molasses, but I am out of molasses. And so I'm using sorghum. Um, I got this at an Appalachia festival, actually, several years ago, um, where somebody made their own sorghum syrup. If you're not familiar with sorghum, <coughs> um, it comes from sorghum cane and it's sort of like molasses, but it has a very distinct taste. It tastes like sorghum. <laughs> it's kind of hard to describe. Um, but it's similar to molasses. So these are going to be sorghum ginger cookies instead of molasses ginger cookies. We're going to see how this goes. <laughs> and we have some ginger sorghum cookies. And my knitting <laughs> while I'm on my lunch break. We'll see how they are. So the cookies are very tasty, but
but they are kind of dry. Uh, so, I don't know. If I make them again, I maybe I'll add more butter or something. That recipe was, it wasn't necessarily for like healthy cookies, but it wasn't really for particularly like decadent cookies either. So that might be the problem. Um, I don't know if the sorghum changed, just changed the moisture of them at all. I have no idea, but I'll pick up some molasses if I'm gonna make them again and then maybe add a little more butter or something to them. But other than that, they were tasty, especially with milk. Kind of balances out the dryness a little bit. So, can't complain too much. And we have day number nine. Okay, I can't film this in the normal spot because Alex is on mic with people and talking very loudly, so. I'm hiding in the closet. <laughs> um, let's see. And we have more green. So that's pretty. So it does seem like. Well, I guess we're only on day nine, so things could change, but it does seem like green is definitely um, a recurring color palette in this particular kit. So I wonder how that is going to go with the four a days pattern. We'll see. So I completely forgot to take video <laughs> during craft night. Um, I was just focused on, I guess, hanging out and crafting, <laughs> so which isn't a bad thing. But I uh, did almost finish uh, that first sock for my pair of Christmas socks. Um, I taught another friend how to knit. Is actually the husband of a friend that I taught <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, and he had a lot of fun. He was he started knitting a scarf and garter stitch in super bulky yarn and he got almost two feet done in the <clears throat> couple hours that we were all hanging out and crafting. So that was really fun and he really liked it. <laughs> so it's very satisfying. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for today. So I will see you guys again tomorrow.